Hello, this is Steve from Be Those Loader Works. Today's project is these very well loved Ferragamo Chaka boots. No, I didn't get them on eBay just to show you guys what I could do. These belong to an actual customer who wore the hell out of them. Beautiful boots, by the way. These are the hatch grain front part. And the vape area here is a smooth leather. Beautiful shoe. I mean, they're gorgeous. I think they'll come back pretty well. So join me today. We're going to do a Swedish bath on this. Now, Swedish bath uh, is made was made popular by a friend of mine named Peter in Sweden. Hence, we call it the Swedish bath. It's mixed with a couple of uh, cleaners, conditioners, and uh, we soak the uh, shoes in the tub of water. Well, I'll, I'll show you guys what I do. All right, let's get started. Right, you guys get the idea, right? We're basically just soaking the shoe into the water, letting it absorb into the uppers. Leave them there for about a minute or two. Now, what I didn't show you guys was me wiping them down with vinegar, white vinegar, just to kind of uh, start the process of the salting, desalting them, I guess you can call it. All right, so once we got them scrubbed down, what we're gonna do, we're gonna wrap them with paper towels, okay? This is where the magic starts happening. Especially around the sides there where it was all the salt stains were. Get a plastic bag, tie them up. And just let it sit there for about maybe two days I would say. And we'll come back in two days, I'll show you what has happened during the process of the paper towels absorbing the moisture from the shoe. Now there's a lot of uh, steps that go along with this. This is just not putting it in a tub of water and being done with. It doesn't work that way. You got to do a lot more once you remove the stains off of it to bring the leather back. So I'll show you guys that next. All right, let's continue. Now they're still wet, okay, so they gotta, you gotta dry them some more. So while they're still kind of damp a little bit, you wanna massage this uppers just to try to soften up the creases a little bit. Might as well do that too while it's still kind of wet a bit. You 
the shoe trees are a bit too small but that'll work right in the vamp area right there to straighten it out so as you guys can see it's it's come along pretty good already i mean what a big difference from what it was to what it is now we still have to apply color conditioners a color conditioners again condition again so cleaning is just like the first phase of this process and don't you know we save these paper towels we can still use those once they dry up recycle man got a nice scratch right at the toe right there i'll see what i can come up with Now we're going to let these sit for another probably two, three days for it completely to, uh, to dry. All right. You guys get the idea. Let's continue. All right, let's take a look at what we have after a couple of days of it drying. You guys can see the salt stains are gone. Now we're going to do a, just a light wiping down with a little bit of acetone. And then we're going to condition them, let them sit. We're going to condition them one more time. And then after the conditioning, we're going to use Big Four to condition, by the way. After the conditioning, we're going to add a little bit of color. Then we can start the process of tearing that apart and getting the soles done. All right, let's continue. We've got Phoebe's dark brown. Now, this isn't really a dark brown per se, right? It's almost like a, it has like a chocolate tone. It's not really a, it's got a little bit of red in it. So what we want to do is we want to dilute this a little bit. So we can do a thin coat. And then if we need to go darker, we can go darker. You don't want to do just dark brown and just kind of change the tone of the shoe. So this will be a good base start. Some stitching loose right there. We'll go ahead and tidy that up a bit. Now what we can do is, to bring that little bit of red tone back, you can use a simple cream. This is like a shoe polish. It's like a cream that comes in the jars. And this is Bordeaux, which has got a lot of red in it. But it's not really a dye. It's just going to tint that little bit into the reddish tone that we want. Almost like a mahogany. Again, it's not a permanent, it's not a dye per se, like the Phoebe's dye. This is just kind of tinting it a little bit, which is what we want.
not a bad shade. It's getting there. All right, let's continue. My friends are finally awake. Good morning. And now you guys got quiet as soon as I open the door. Right in that area, right there, right behind this building, there's a whole enclave of birds there every morning. I wish they would migrate to here. All right, so you remember that piece we added on? Now it's same thickness going all the way because before it was worn down, if you put the sole here, it would be a little thinner at the tip. It wouldn't look right. Time to glue everything back together and continue this project. You know, I get a lot of uh, a lot of people ask me that why I um, why I do what I do, make videos to show people how to do things. I mean, the majority of the audiences obviously are not cobblers. So, you know, why would you share those kinds of things? Believe it or not, there's a lot of cobblers who watch my videos and learn something from it, which is really cool. I get emails all the time thanking me for showing them what I showed them, you know. Um, there's a great, there's a great saying that, that I wrote down and kept and I look at it once in a while. It's basically, it says, we are living in an age of abundance. Why not share the wealth? I mean, I'm here today, gone tomorrow. You know, this is not going to continue with anybody that I have. It's going to end with me. And you, you never know, you're... Your your life can be your life can be over in in a matter of you know a few minutes. So why not share what you know? And uh, hopefully somebody will pick up. Somebody will do better. I think as a whole industry of the of a shoe repair industry, yeah, everybody who gets asked you know about shoe repair says, oh, it's a dying art. They're all a bunch of dinosaurs. Well, it, it's not really a dying art if you love what you do and you pursue it and you try to do the best that you can and to think outside the box and and offer consumers different options. You know, um, I think you could have a thriving business. You just have to put your mind to it and work very hard at it. You know, I've been doing this for ever since I can remember. It didn't come overnight that I'm doing what I'm doing right now. It was a long journey before I got to this level and, you know, made a lot of fails in the way, you know, and um, you just learn from your mistakes and you continue to grow and you watch other people and you listen. And hopefully, you know, at, at some time in your life, in your career, you can have a busy, you know, shop and 
and make a decent living. And the most importantly, be happy about what you do. That's to me, that's that's everything. You know, I come early here in the mornings. Do I have to be here? No, I don't have to be here. But this is my happy place. This what's this what's makes me happy to do the work. So if you're not happy with what you're doing, you need to get out and find something else that makes you happy. All right, let's continue. Keep calm, my friend. It's hammer time. Hammer time. I think hammer time is good for me too. It gets a little bit of aggression out with that hammer, you know? Better use it on that shoe than anybody else. Somebody's head. <laughs> now this leather is just basically um, a basic leather, right? It's not JR leather because we're gonna cover it up with a thin rubber sole guard. So it doesn't really make sense to use a JR leather for the bottom if it's going to be covered up. difference from what it was to what it is now damn look good all right let's continue You see these dark spots on the leather? That's just from the old sandpaper. When the sandpaper is old, it starts burning the leather and it gets a sheen. So we can't have that because the sole coming on, it's not going to glue very well. So you take one of these tools and you scratch the shit out of it. Just roughen up the surface. So anytime that we're doing a sole guard, this is considered a sole guard, even though it's a little bit thicker than the regular, very thin profile sole guards that we do normally. Something like this, which is like a one millimeter or 1.2, something like that. We sand the edge very thin from the bottom. And then we do the reverse on the leather. That's when you guys saw me cutting a little piece out. So when you, when you bring it together, the joint, which is the two pieces meeting together, it should be a nice transition, not really a hump. You know, in the old days, they should just take this rubber sole and stick it on top, to have a real thick edge on, on, the, on the bottom right here in the shank area, sand it and give it to the customer, you know? I mean, what we're doing is so much more than what 
regular shoe repair is and what people know what regular shoe repair should be. I mean, if my dad was around, his head would be spinning, seeing with the different options and and uh, possibilities of of doing different jobs. You know, it's really cool. It's really cool to be able to give that option to the customer and let them decide what they want. Now, could I have stitched this on top? Most of the time, I do. But I figured this time, let's not do that. Let's stitch it underneath, secure the sole. This way, if he needs to resole it, we can just peel this off. The stitches won't be affected because they're countersunk, and then we can put a new one on top of it. Either way, it could be done. All right, so some of you guys know that I run a shop uh, during the day, my normal schedule. Uh, we've been to Falls Church, City of Falls Church in Virginia for over 45 years, so we have a good following. So this is what's on my plate normally. Um, I would love to make videos every week. I would love to do that. But let me just show you guys around to let you guys see what I go through my daily routine. That'll give you some ideas that it's not, it's not impossible to do videos every week, but it's kind of difficult. Let me show you guys. All right, we'll start with our workbench right here. These need to be done rather rather quickly, I would say. Just a few jobs here and there. This is one rack right here. This is another rack here. Stuff on the table needs to get done. Back up so you can see both shelves. Okay. And these bags here. Let's see what else we got. Some more shelves here. And this work over here, I've got to go through and basically generate some estimates and give customers a call back 
All right, if you guys need some information about me, like how to get hold of me, you can go to the main channel on YouTube and then go to About right here. You click that and then I have all my information right here. If you want to go to store for some merchandise, you're welcome to purchase anything you like. If you have something to ship, there's a shipping form right here in the corner. You click onto that. That'll take you to shipping form. Fill that out. Send it with your item. And I'll contact you once I receive it. All right, so you guys get the idea, right? My schedule's always backlogged. Thank God we have work. Don't get me wrong. And um, and I'm very thankful that the amount of work that we have compared to other people in this industry. And um, and right now, you know, I'm, I'm doing everything on my own. Um, I've got uh, counter help that helps me with the phone calls and taking care of customers that walk in. But all the work goes through my hands, whether it's handbag, boots, shoes, everything. Everything that comes through the door, it needs work. I'm doing it. Um, so anyway, it's okay. You know, it is what it is. I'll try to do my best maybe to upload maybe a good two, three videos a month. And if I come across something that is interesting, that I think that'll be kind of cool video, I'll go ahead and do that too. No problem. It's my pleasure. All right. So if you guys have liked this content and you want to see more of it, please hit the subscribe button. It is free. And um, if you want to give it a thumbs up and make a comment and share as much as you want, we'd greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on the next project. Take care.